So we have really good news from the State Department. They're really speeding up processing of visas. And they reported this week that most non-immigrant visa appointments will be scheduled within seven days and tourist visas within seven weeks. Lots of good stuff to cover. I'll see you on the other side. Hello everybody and welcome back to our immigration channel. This is a place where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. This video will give you a full update from the State Department specifically about them speeding up wait times for visa interviews, for visa appointments, starting with non-immigrant visas all the way to tourist visas. And I know a lot of people are concerned about that. People are waiting for interviews for months, even over a year. And all this is changing starting this week. So it's a really important update. This is coming directly from Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, specifically for visa services. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. At a recent briefing of the State Department, Deputy Assistant of Secretary of State for Visa Services, Julie Stafft, provided very, very important information. She said that they were able to reduce the wait time for visa interview appointments, specifically for tourist visas, from over a year to seven weeks now in most embassies and consulates worldwide. And for non-immigrant visas like work visas, student visas, trainee visas, those are gonna be possible to get within seven days. And this is really important because a lot of applicants and people that are watching this channel know that in the past year or so, it's been really difficult to get visa appointments, specifically tourist visas, people were waiting over a year, sometimes two years in some of these embassies and consulates. All this is changing. They're trying to get to a seven week wait, which is very reasonable for applicants who are waiting to apply for a visitor visa, specifically before the travel time this summer. She talked about the fact that their processing capacity is now recovering. They've put a lot of innovation into their processing as well as new policies that they implemented and all this is working and therefore we can see those results right now. The bottom line is that the State Department is promising major progress in 2023 specifically as we're coming to the summer all the way through the end of the year, you're gonna see faster processing in non-immigrant visas as well as in immigrant visa processing. As you know, and you've seen my videos over the past two years where I explained why these backlogs are happening. Because of the lockdown, because of the reducing capacity of staffing in those embassies and consulates, and also because many of these posts were not open to see applicants for over a year and a half, and only recently many of these embassies and consulates fully reopened. As a result, there been a huge backlog in processing, and they were not able to schedule appointments on time. And therefore, you've seen what happened where appointments for visa interviews, specifically tourist visas, were taken over a year and sometimes even two years at the busiest embassies and consulates worldwide. New policy changes that they've implemented and new technology tools that they're using at different posts, it is possible for them now to process cases much, much faster. But don't take it for my words. Let's see what Deputy Secretary of State Julie Stafft had to say about faster processing of tourist visas and other non-immigrant visas. We've spent the past year surging our overseas workforce and finding efficiencies to speed up the application process for those who are waiting for visas during the pandemic. And I'm so proud to report uh, today that we've successfully reduced visa interview wait times um, with a median global wait time today of just seven weeks for a tourist visa, B1, B2 visa, and only seven days for student and temporary workers. Our visa processing capacity is recovering uh, much faster than initially projected by both our own and industry projections, uh, thanks to policy and processing innovations that we implemented this year. In many countries, we issued more tourist visas this year than before the pandemic, including in Mexico and in Brazil, two of our largest markets. We issued more student visas this year than in any recent year. We prioritized visas for airline and shipping crew members in order to support global supply chains, issuing more than 250,000 crew member visas this year. And we exceeded pre-pandemic processing for crew members since June. So worldwide, we issued 40% more visas for seasonal workers this year than in 2019 before the pandemic. So according to the State Department, since January 1st of 2023, there were more tourist visas issued this year alone than in any other year in the past three years. 
This is even bigger numbers than we've seen before the pandemic. If you look at countries like Brazil and Mexico, where are the largest markets for tourist visas and other non-immigrant visas, those two countries have seen an increase in issuance of tourist visas and other non-immigrant visas, and the wait time for appointments has definitely been reduced. Another statistic that was provided by Deputy Secretary Julie Staft is that they had more student visas issued in 2023 alone than in the past four years, even before the pandemic. That shows you that they have more capacity and there's more people applying for student visas now than ever before. She also mentioned in the past six months, they've given visa priority to airline and shipping crew members to get visas faster to be able to come to the United States and perform their jobs. In fact, in the past year, over 250,000 crew member visas were issued alone from multiple countries to allow those people to come to the United States and facilitate their profession. And once again, these numbers exceed crew member visas even before the pandemic. And finally, worldwide numbers increased by 40% in issuance of seasonal visas, mostly H2B and H2A visas to allow the US workforce to benefit from the seasonal workers and help them and help employers that need seasonal workers to be able to find those workers and get visas fast. As I said before, 40% increase in issuance of seasonal work visas, even, bef even larger numbers than before the pandemic. But remember, while we have these good news to report, challenges still remain. And just like the Deputy Secretary of State mentioned, is that they're still working on fighting backlogs, specifically with immigrant visas. The National Visa Center is overburdened with cases sitting and waiting for interview appointments, and U.S. embassies are still not able to open enough immigrant visa slots to be able to accommodate the large numbers to allow people that are already documented to complete to get their interviews. Secretary Staff assured the audience that they're doing their best to process these applications and allow embassies to open more interview slots. And so we're gonna see a much faster movement of visa appointments starting beginning of May all the way through the end of the year. And also countries like India and Pakistan and Mexico that see a large amount of visas processed through these embassies are still facing a lot of delays and the State Department assured that they're gonna be focusing on these high capacity embassies, trying to get more staff into those posts, trying to get more technology to facilitate the processing of visa interviews, and therefore trying to reduce the wait times, specifically at those high capacity embassies. There was another question that was asked at this particular interview. What if you have urgent travel needs? Can you expedite your visa interview appointments so you'll be able to get your visa faster? And she said, yes, you can definitely try to expedite your appointment if you meet three requirements. If you have an urgent business necessity that requires you to travel, if it's a humanitarian matter, or if it's a medical necessity, if you meet those three requirements, you can still request the embassy to expedite your visa appointment. The way you do that is that you book a regular appointment, then you email the post and you let them know that you have an appointment in the future, and because of a medical condition, because of a humanitarian issue, because of a business necessity, you need to expedite it, and they will accommodate you if you meet those requirements. And finally, she assured that most embassies in the world are working at full capacity. There are quite a few of them that are working at limited capacity, but they're also trying to accommodate visa applicants, both non-immigrant and immigrant visas, and working together with the National Visa Center to be able to process and facilitate the, the transition of cases between the National Visa Center and U.S. embassies. So the bottom line is that things are definitely improving. Things are gonna start moving a little bit faster as we come towards summer of 2023. And I know a lot of you are anxious and I know a lot of you are still waiting a long time. And there are some situations where waiting too long is not reasonable. And in those cases, we have to file a lawsuit, put some pressure against the government, file them on Davis to force them to act. Remember, yes, they're working faster, but still we have quite a few applicants that are stuck and there is a solution for you guys. So again, if you need my help, you know where to find me, 619-483-4549. I'm here to help you. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you next time.